Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Grizzly. I'm a high school computer science teacher. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a button in Android so that it does something. Uh, let's start with this basic app that's already been created for us. We're using a constraint layout. I'm just going to put two user interface components on the screen. I'm going to put a button and a text view, which I will use for to output something. Uh, let's just lay this out. I'm going to start by setting a default margin of 16 dips and then I will constrain my button against the uh, edges of the activity there and then next I'll constrain the text view against the button Oops, I want that to be 16 and then also against the outside and down to the bottom okay now you'll notice things got spaced out like this I'm going to just change the buttons layout uh, width to match the constraint so it'll stretch it out towards the edges leaving a 16 dip gap there I'm going to leave the layout height as wrap content so it'll just fit the word on the button however the text view I'm going to match constraints in both directions it will fill up all the available space then okay a couple more things on the layout then let's remove the word text view from the uh, from the text view then let's go to the button and we'll just change the word so it says go on it Okay, so we have a button, we have a text view which will look invisible until it says something. And next we want to create a method, a function that goes with this button so that whenever it is clicked, the method will run. So we do that down here. I'm in the attributes area. I've selected the button. Looking on the right hand side, on click is currently empty. And if I were to select from a uh, drop down here, there's nothing to choose from. What we're going to do is go and write the method and then we'll come back and we'll select this from the list. You can also just type the name of the method here right now if you wanted. So I'm going to the Java file up at the top here. After the onCreate method, outside of the onCreate method, I'm going to write a new one. It has to be public, void, and then we'll choose the name for it. Uh, we're just going to call it go. The parameters for the method, we have to include a view. We just call that view, which is essentially the source. What is the object which calls this? And so this view variable will contain a reference to the button itself. You'll notice currently it has never been used, doesn't do anything, so now let's go back and connect it to the button itself. When I choose the on clicks drop down in the main activity I can now choose the go method. Let's do that. Our button is now connected to this method and you can see it highlights in orange there. Okay, well let's just uh, go ahead and put something in the text view to say that the button was clicked. Uh, so we start with text view. We're going to call it output equals find view by ID r dot ID dot. Now that mine is just called text view. I didn't change the ID on it. Let me just show you that. Up at the top here, there's the ID of my text view. All right, so we retrieve a reference to the output uh, text view. And then I'm just going to say uh, I'm going to set the text on it. I guess it's not clicking on an app. Uh, you tapped the button. We're just typing that in as a literal just by typing in a string that we want to display. Okay, we're all set. So I'm just going to play the app. I should have done this earlier because uh, it takes a minute to uh, build for the first time and run the emulator and all that stuff. So let's just wait while this happens. Okay, so our app is up and running, and you can see the title across the top. There's the Go button. The text view is invisible. I'm about to click on or tap the Go button. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, and that's where the method was run. If you tap it repeatedly, it appears nothing happens, but this method is running over and over again every time you tap it. So that's how you create a button's uh, on-click method. Let me just go back to the layout to show you one more time. So you select the button. In the attributes area, go down to common attributes and you'll find a list of available methods that you can choose from for the uh, as the on-click method for that button. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the uh, comments down below. Thanks.